Hi everybody, Jack Cook from Experience Mobility and Mobility Site. I'm sitting in the heart of Amish country in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Just drove down here and before we left I had a package arrive at the house. So I wanted to see what was there and I opened it up and all of a sudden inside the package was this briefcase, which I didn't want to open because it came from Nokia. I had to get down here and I was excited the whole way. I wanted to share the experience with you. This is, uh, I'm part of the Nokia program. They're asking me to take a check out some of their devices and this is kind of a neat little briefcase that um, they packaged the uh, uh, a new Nokia E-Series phone in. So we're going to take a look at it for the first time. So what I'm going to do is attempt to open it up and I'll show you just what I'm seeing. If I can open it. Here we go. Oh, I have to turn it upside down. Here we go. And this is what I'm getting right here. And so we're going to take a quick peek at it. Kind of a kind of a neat little package and neat little briefcase. But this is the Nokia E75. The uh, I don't know too much about it, and that's why they sent it to me so that I can take a peek at it. And I thought that I would share a little bit of it uh, with you. So we'll open it up, and I can see uh, inside we have a another box within a box. A lot of lot of packaging to this. This is the E75, and oh, I have another box within a box. I mean, are they are they kidding me? Look at this! All these boxes, a lot of packaging, and so now what we have. Ah, we finally have, and take a look at this. Kind of a nice, neat little setup. All right, it's kind of a, it's kind of like a present being sent to you. It's all packaged very nicely. Um, this is the device, and we'll we'll talk more about that in a second. We'll see what what comes in the box. Of course, what we have is the uh, USB cable, and we have a um, this. For, uh, for for syncing, and we'll see what else we have. We have a uh, headset, a wired headset, and we have a battery. And of course, the battery is I can't read it. Well, we'll see what it says here. It's uh, 3.7 volt uh, battery, and there's no indication that I can see on it right now. But uh, how long that will last? But usually, the uh, Nokia batteries last. A fairly lengthy time, and we have the AC charger, and unfortunately, uh, this is the uh, the charger that I need to get a, a US adapter for it, and I'm not sure I have one in my utility bag, so we may not be able to power it up on the trip. And what we see, we have uh, one manual here. This talking about Nokia Maps. And there's a, just another one to just to get a little bit more out of the E75. And then, of course, as always, um, the user manual. And the user manual is a little over 100 pages, about 125 pages or so. And Nokia always does a pretty great job dealing with each aspect of a device. So, of course, we all hate manuals, but I generally look at the Nokia manuals. They do a, they do a great job talking about all the features. So most importantly, let's take a look at, at the device itself. And we'll try to zoom up just a little bit on the device, if we can. What's kind of neat about this device, it's a slider device. So here it looks like it's a candy bar phone with just a numeric uh, keypad, T9 keypad. But now they have uh, the slider, all right, and there's a QWERTY keyboard. And I have to tell you, I like the action on it. It's, it, it absolutely snaps. I like the color. Very nice. And the cover just snaps off. And it's a metal cover. It's not plastic. And inside is a place where I'll be able to take them to put the SIM, memory card, all right, and the battery. Very, very nice. Well, more about this uh, a little bit later, but... I wanted you to be able to see it for the first time as I saw it. I'm pretty impressed. It's very thin with a slider. I don't think I've, I've, I've had a device that's been as thin as this 
with, with a sliding keypad. Really, really nice. Very comfortable in the hand. The screen is, uh, is a pretty decent size, and I'll talk about the specs in just a second. It's a really nice looking device. I'm looking forward to trying this. I have to find a charger now because I've got to, I've got to plug this in. So I thought I'd take a couple of seconds just to show you a little bit about, um, about this device. Uh, first of all, when you're looking at the front of the device, uh, right up here on the uh, left hand side is the, is the light sensor. Um, and if you look to the right, um, this is a, is a secondary camera, so this will be kind of, this will be kind of cool. Um, this device that appears right in between is, is the earpiece, which is fairly large. It gives a lot of flexibility. Um, as we look um, down on, on the devices, then, you know, we have uh, your navigation key. Um, and then if we look here, this is a home key. And just, be, just below the, uh, uh, the home key is uh, your call key. Um, looking to the right, um, right over here, uh, we have a, um, a selection key that you'll use for um, picking uh, uh, different options as you, as you scroll through through your items. Uh, and then, if you look to the right, this is the uh, the end call uh, and also an email key, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, you can get a pretty good view of of uh, uh, this particular keyboard. Um, you know, it's. Uh, uh, well laid out. I like uh, in the center on the five key. Um, if you if you uh, look closely, you can see those little vertical bars. Well, that's great when you're at night time. You you can uh, you can feel it. You know where you are, and then you can take and uh, go go to keys uh, uh, pr uh, pretty easily. Looking on the left side, um, what we have are are two. Um, Flip-up type tabs. The one that's uh, that's on the right uh, is a micro USB connector, and the one that's on the left is the uh, memory card slot. You can see where the memory card goes if I just roll it down. I've, I have the uh, uh, back cover off because I just took and I, I put in my singular SIM, which slides in there, and now the battery uh, will just clip in the in the back. And so we'll just take it. Uh, we'll try that battery. It goes in uh, pretty easily. Now that we're on, we're on the back, we'll we'll see if one hand that I can take and put the cover back on, uh, which it does. And and again, I want to point out that this is a metal cover. This isn't a cheap plastic cover. Nokia makes a pretty neat phone. They really do. And if you look up here, you can see uh, uh, the camera. Uh, there's a flash, and this looks like it's a self-portrait mirror. And then this over here is is a uh, your uh, the loudspeaker uh, so that you have it. So what you have is a mirror, uh, you have the flash, the main camera, and then a loudspeaker on on the back. Looking at the bottom of the device, you can see the jack uh, to take and to plug in the uh, the Nokia uh, Nokia charger. If we look on on the right side, on the left we have the camera. Then we have the volume up and volume down keys. And in the center, that's a push to talk, uh, also a, a mute key. And at the top, we have the jack uh, for uh, your headset, and which, by the way, is a 3.5 jack. So all in all, that's, that's really very, very cool. Um, again, first, uh, first impressions are pretty good. I really like the slide out keyboard. It's very nice. It has a pretty decent uh, uh, feel to it. Uh, you're able to take it to navigate uh, pretty easily with this. I think it's going to, going to be uh, uh, really a really a slick a slick device. And I'm and, and I'm really impressed uh, pressing the keys again. Now typical with Nokia, when you press the power key and when you know that it's charged, uh, uh, if your device is charged and you're turning it on. Uh, you get to feel a, uh, a little vibration, and here uh, the Nokia symbol is just coming on, there you can see it, and we're going to try it for the very first time.